So today I'm going to make a cover for this couch. So this couch came with the apartment. I don't really love the like white fake leather look. Um, and it's also kind of all like ripped up, like it's not in great condition. I just don't think it really goes with the rest of the room as I've created it. I haven't really decorated the room around this sofa because I've been intending on replacing it. But I've been also struggling to figure out exactly what I want to replace it with. And so in the meantime, so I don't have to look at this like peeling faux leather every day, <laughs> I've decided to just like cover it with a big drop cloth, or actually two big drop cloths. They're each nine feet by 12 feet. And so I'm going to sew them together so that it's 18 feet by 12 feet. So yeah, let's go sew those pieces together. So I have here these two drop cloths. And you might be looking at this and thinking, ooh, Hillary, you need to iron this. And you might be right, but the idea of ironing 12 by 18 feet right now does not sound fun. And I washed it before just to soften it up because the canvas was a bit rougher, but I washed it with some vinegar I would say it's definitely softer now, so it'll be a bit more comfortable to sit on. And the benefit of it also being a drop cloth is like, it's really not like precious, like this is an expensive fabric. If people, if people wanted to draw on it, paint on it, they could. <laughs> got this as a wedding present from some friends and I'm very excited about it. It's going to make sewing this together so much faster. It's also been a while since I've used a sewing machine really and so I might not have the best straightest lines but this is a good thing to start practicing on. I guess I should make sure it's really working. <laughs> I like don't even know how to go slower. I should watch some YouTube videos of people just sewing straight lines on sewing machines and see how the right way to do it is. <laughs> straight again. Okay. Now I have this humongous piece of fabric with this seam down the middle. It is a little silly looking. Yeah, I 
feel like that seam looks bad. The cameraman just told me that it looks like I'm preparing for it to be moved. Um, which doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Okay, I've decided to go ahead and iron this. I stuck a towel under here. This whole thing would look nicer if it was all ironed. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this off and iron the whole thing. tired. This has taken a long time. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so big. smoother I feel like it drapes more nicely it just looks much better like I kind of feel like I just need to like embrace the like drapiness of it and think like ah oh, this is like elegant the way it puddles on the floor <laughs> I definitely like the couch better now. I feel like I would, I want a few more like bun pillows on here. Cause I think, like I'm like this on here, like livens it up a bit. Even with all the ironing, this really was pretty simple. It was really inexpensive. And I do just like the room better now with this in it. And it was a much cheaper solution than buying a whole new couch, which I still want to do eventually, but I can wait for the right one rather than like rushing to buy something that I might regret. If you've done something similar and especially if you think it looks better than mine, let me know. I could always use some more tips and thanks for watching.